Hey guys, this is Trace from D News here at the National Aquarium in Baltimore, Maryland. We're here to see some black tip reef sharks. They're moving them into a new exhibit today, so let's check them out. These sharks have been in a temporary tank for a year and a half waiting for the new exhibit to be completed. I'm sure they are excited to move. So when we get in, it's uh, we're a new element in their habitat, so right. we're trying to reduce as much stress as we can and minimize their anxiety. You don't normally think of sharks having anxiety. Right. No. They're more <laughs> scared of us than we are of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to catch an animal out one at a time. We're going to get that animal to, into an exam tub, make sure it's comfortable. Uh, at that point, we restrain the animal, two people on the animal. Uh, we get measurements, so we get a total length to see how much the shark has grown since the last time we had it out. We'll also get pictures of their dorsal fins to help us ID the shark. Really? Right in the back. Wow. It is like sandpaper. <laughs> That's incredible. Female. Um, and then we transfer it to a scale to get a weight, a current weight. It's been a few months since some of these sharks have been weighed. Um, at that point, they're in a stretcher, they're safe, they're secure, and they're taken to their transport tub. Once they arrive at the aquarium, we acclimate them to the water that they're going to go into because it may be a little different than what they came out of. So we take our time doing that um, and then transfer them to a tub to bring them up and release them into their new home. After finally getting the last shark into the new exhibit, the senior aquarist Ashley and Jack Cover, the general curator, took a minute to tell us what their experience has been with these awesome creatures. These sharks, there's 20 of them, and they were just put into this tank. That's amazing. How do you feel about that? It is a very rewarding experience. It's been a long, a long time coming. We started getting the sharks in December of 2011, and then for a year and a half, we worked with them. Uh, we assessed their health. We did exams on all of them. We gave them pit tags so we could identify them, and actually started training them, too, to respond to certain cues for feeding. Okay, and what do they eat? They eat a variety of foods. Uh, we try and mix it up for them. Squid, mackerel, herring, shrimp, smelt, capelin. Uh, I'd say their favorite food is squid. And we're actually aiming for a balance here where they're not hungry. Okay. so they don't go out looking for food. Uh, but we don't want to overfeed them because that's not healthy either. Right. When you train them, how smart would you say they are? Very intelligent, very capable of learning. Much like training a dog, I'd take the same steps with my sharks, with the stingray. Even with uh, smaller fish, you can do it. Uh, they're very trainable animals. You can train a shark. Who knew? <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about the physical exhibit itself? Well, what we aimed to do from the beginning, we picked a part of the world we were going to re replicate. That was the Indo-Pacific Reef. So the first thing we have to do is we have to take and make a clay model of the habitat. We actually take photographs of different vignettes in the wild and then we recreate those. So all the structure had to be made, all the individual coral pieces had to be made and then mounted as they would appear in the wild. And we went through great pains to make sure the colors matched. Aren't they gonna get bored in here? Well, absolutely not with creating an environment where you have predators with prey they're constantly sort of moving around the exhibit. They're foraging as they would in the wild. There's no downtime. When it comes to the black tip reef shark, why specifically that breed? Well, the black tip reef shark is an iconic species for the Indo-Pacific reef. It's really adapted to go into shallow water for hunting. It's also an interesting shark in that it lives in social groups. Mm -hmm. So we have 20 sharks here and you can see that they're moving in a group. They're not moving randomly. The other thing is, it's just a beautiful looking shark. Yeah. We want to show sharks are beautiful things. They actually play a role in the health of the reef, and these are the stories we wanted to tell here at the aquarium. You guys, that was so cool. They let me touch a shark with this hand right here. Now, this is the National Aquarium, like we said earlier. It's aqua.org. They have 17,000 animals from 750 countries. It's open seven days a week. And they told us even the two days they're closed, they're not even actually closed. So come check it out, Baltimore, Maryland. Thanks for watching D News, everybody. I'm Trace. Catch you later.